What's up guys, it's Michael here. In this video, we're gonna cover Joe Biden's $10,000 student loan forgiveness. So let's get into the video. Before I continue on, please like, share, and subscribe, and click the subscribe button down below, and it'll help out the YouTube algorithm a lot for posting videos like these. So what makes it really interesting? A lot of people talk about how his student loan forgiveness will help a lot of people, or you can say whatever political spectrum you are, left or right, you can say it's unfair, or you can say help the economy. But there's one thing that almost no one I've seen has ever mentioned. Like it kind of baffles me that they said they're not politically affiliated, but they never think about solving the issue, the core issue itself behind student loans. Yes, the degree itself, yeah, yeah, you have to pay it off. But you think about it, why is it so expensive? Has everyone ever thought why when you get a doctor degree, it's like, you know, depending on what level you want to go to, it's like $200,000, $300,000 in debt. Or you get a degree. Why, like I mentioned in a previous video, why isn't there like a price tag saying this is the amount you'll make in this state, in this city, this is how much an average person makes per year using other sources and websites before you sign up for that degree. So before we get into all the, you know, the details of why student loan forgiveness is good and or bad, but at the same time, is never really solving the problem because the problem itself you can forgive student loans but it's still gonna come back it's still gonna come back and get you and it's still gonna bite every single administration because you know trying to not to make it political but most of those people and commentators make it political like they say they're not political but they never actually solve the problem like instead of you know talking about the problem maybe provide a solution to the problem. That's the whole point of this YouTube channel. If you can think of a, you know, if you can see a problem, try to think of a solution, a possible solution that can satisfy all conditions. So first we gotta look at what is the student loan forgiveness debt. So the plan is, you know, not to make it political, but they're trying to forgive $10,000 for anyone, I believe making around 120,000, 125,000. Don't quote me on that, but at the same time, it's around that mark. They're trying to forgive about 10 grand for people you know, have that amount of loan or making that amount of money or less. Fine, right? 10 grand. So they're trying to change it up. What happens on if you are applying for a loan and your whole entire household family, they don't make that much money. Then they might change that if you're a low income household family member, then they change it to up to $20,000. Okay, that sounds great and all, but what does that solve so people say oh it's not fair for other people who you know didn't get this deal i mean has life ever been fair let's put it that way let's answer this ask you that way has life ever been fair no there are things you get and there are things you don't get like the stimulus check i posted in a video there's a lot of people who didn't get the stimulus check or didn't even know about it or some people got portion of the stimulus check and own a business they didn't know there's actually a, a stimulus check for businesses big deal you know, you missed out on the opportunity. That's what happened. Because, you know, it was not fair. Like, they like saying, it's like saying sharing is caring, but at the same time, you're stealing. <laughs> same thing. So the main issue here of the student loan forgiveness, besides the political spectrum, is it doesn't solve the core problem of why do people get into student loans and to the point that they can't pay it off. No one else mentions that. Like all the other people, who talk about it and say oh this is good or this is bad but at the end have they ever provide a solution so let's look at the problem first student loans why they're so high so there's public and privatized privatized you can't really do much about it because it goes to corporations and companies but public is federal you could do something about it and now that depending on the agency or the presidency and administration that's how it goes but at the end you pay off the student loan you forgive it would the problem come back it's like you go to take surgery, instead of stitching up your wound or using staples to let your wounds heal more properly or correctly, you just throw neosporin or, hydrogen, or pour hydrogen peroxide over a surgery wound and call it a day. At the end, you're still gonna bleed out and you're gonna bleed to death. It's saying no student loans. It's not gonna solve the problem. You're literally throwing a Band-Aid over a large enough wound that's like spilling out and it's constantly spilling out. So, as I mentioned in previous video, first, as I mentioned, when people choose a degree, why can't colleges, like I thought colleges are pretty regulated, but at the same time, it's not regulated correctly. Meaning is when you choose a degree, a doctor degree, it should like literally state it out how much it's going to cost. 
if you are an undergrad trying to get a grad, when you get into grad school, this is the amount how much it's going to cost. Point A to point B, this amount of number right here tells them this is how many years you have to dedicate your life for. This is how much you're going to need to pay up. So let's say you're going for a physician. You need at least four years of schooling and three years of residency, meaning they're scamming you for half pay. And so this is going to cost like, let's say $200,000. The question is, how much can you pay for that $200,000? If you're a low-income family, if your student loan forgives 10 grand, you still have like 190 grand that you still have to owe to the school. Then you have to take a loan out. And a loan is depending on how, what interest you have to pay. They're there to make money. People who loan you out money, they're there to make money. So you think about it. They should list it out. This is job worth it. So the schools, I believe schools should provide the number that how much it costs to get this degree, how much the degree will pay you on average per year during the specific period of time. Meaning, let's say, let's say take the average numbers of doctors that make per year in Southern California and within this specific county. This is how much, let's say like $170,000 a year. And that is like before tax and after tax, it gives you the legit amount number. Then people can think about it and think about, is it worth it for me to go work all these years of school, get this amount of money in debt and loan, and how many years it dedicate me to pay it off? And the next question they have to ask themselves is, what happens I go through that school and try to go through this process and didn't make it? So it makes it easier for them to don't have so many questions in hand. So for undergrad students, let's say to go for an art degree, it costs, let's say like $40,000 because all the classes, books, and materials, they should state it that this is the average artist, the average artist makes per year, whatever blank amount said right here. This is how much the degree is going to cost. And if you can't pay for it, then you have to get a loan. And counselors and schools should make it mandatory and list it out. When you get this degree, this is how much you're gonna make per year. And you gotta think about how you gotta pay it off. Like I mentioned in the previous video, if you're going to be an artist and you pay $40,000 for the degree, that's for an undergrad, undergrad degree, how are you going to pay it off? And for my situation, if I was in that person's situation, go for an artist, and if you cannot, let's say you can't find a job, during time you're working on a degree for like artists or you know drawing photography, try to start a business. Meaning do not work under someone, work for yourself. So during that time you're getting a degree, Try to build up your business during that time. And during that time, when you build a business, like I mentioned in my previous video, when you build a business, for me, it's an average of three years. A lot of people say three years. First year you suffer, second year you still suffer, and third year you start to be seeing progress, and the years after that, you just start seeing major progress. So an only way to fix those type of student loans, like student loan forgiveness is great and all, but it's a temporary bandage. It's not gonna stop the core problem. This topic is gonna to come up over and over again. That's even the next, like, you know, the next administration, that's a Republican or Democrat, or maybe eventually it might be third party. It's still gonna happen because they never ever solved the fundamental value of student loan debt. Meaning people are getting two degrees that they don't know. They don't know how much it costs. They don't know how much it pay out within their jurisdiction, meaning their city, their state, their county. How much do they get to pay? How easy it is to find a job? Does the job grow pay well? Would it grow? There's a lot of questions to be asked and there's a lot of money questions that need to be asked. A lot of people, you know, don't bother to find out and don't bother to care. So that's the problem behind student loan debt. And looking at the $10,000 student loan debt, would it, you know, help a bunch of people? Yes, it'll help a bunch of people, but would it ever solve the problem for upcoming other brand new students coming out to college and get into debt? No, it will not solve the problem. That is the issue here. You need to make it easier for people to understand what they are getting into and have colleges explain to them, if you're gonna go this path, this is what you owe, this is how much the degree is gonna cost, and this is how much the degree is currently trending and making. And there's a lot of websites that show degrees, how much they make per year within every single state and what is their current trend right now. That's it for this video. I hope you guys you know, like the video I post like these, like, share, and subscribe. And if there's ever topics like these that involve finance, I'm the go-to place because, as I mentioned before, a lot of people don't ever mention the solution. If you're gonna try to solve a problem, at least try to provide a solution. And in this case, student loan debt, putting, you know, giving a grant for 10 grand is great and all, but it's still a band-aid over a massive damage. It's like trying to fix the building's foundation. Instead of fixing the foundation, you just took some like, you know, like, you know, mortar from Home Depot, poured it over and called it a day. That's not gonna fix the problem, it's just a band-aid. Like I mentioned before, 
Lee's always thinks outside the box. See you guys next time. Peace.